people welcome to my channel on statistical analysis so today we are going to look at the data collection and representation that's one of the more important parts in statistics obviously you'll have to collect data and you have to represent them right so first of all uh, we will look at different types of data you have two types of data that is uh, discrete data and continuous data so if I just look at discrete data Discrete data are whole numbers. That means the data can only take full or whole numbers. So you can say integers. Now, for example, number of sixes in a cricket match. So you can only have either one, two, three, four, or five or more sixes. You cannot have one and a half sixes or two and a half sixes. That's not possible. Or else uh, the number of goals in a football match. You can have one goal, two goal, three goal, likewise. You cannot have 2.5 goals. So those are the discrete data where the values will be all full numbers. And then you have the continuous data. That is a value which can take uh, any value during, a, let's say, during any period. You can have, let's say, age of a person. Age of a person can be from zero, that is the birth, and then zero to, let's say, 70, 80. You cannot say that that person's age is exactly 35 because that person might be 35 years and several months, let's say six months and two weeks, seven days, two weeks and let's say five days and several hours. Likewise, you can just go on continuously. So it's a continuous data value. And then again, the weight of a person, you cannot say a person is only 60 kilos. You can say that person is 60 kilos and then 500 grams and some milligrams, micrograms, likewise, it will continue. So any data which will continue like that where you cannot have a full number as the data value is a continuous data value so usually for representation purposes we will approximate this continuous data to the nearest integer now for example if i ask you a age you will say let's say 25 but you might be 25 years and two months or you might be like a 24 years and uh, let's say 11 months so you will approximate to the nearest integer so then you will usually give you age like that age or weight or anything as such you can uh, approximate that to the nearest integer when you are representing that okay so those are the two types of data that we are having and then we will see how to categorize them so data can be categorized into three categories that is the discrete data you have uh, let's say you have a number uh, uh, let's say you have some numbers of data if you have that number the number that you're having if it is less than 15 then we will just write it down so for example number of goals scored in 10 football matches so you will have just 10 values and those 10 values can be just written down and then you can do the calculations based on that so remember the first category is the discrete data that is if you have the number of data the, the number of data that you're having is less than 15 and then if that value is more than 15 if you just write it down it's going to be like this so here we have number of goals scored in 50 football matches so when you look at it it looks like a mess so in order to avoid this we can categorize it into groups so that we can represent them easily so now here the, also when you are categorizing data you have to see the range of the data set here the range is uh, 0 to 7 so you will only have maximum 8 groups okay so then uh, we can write it down like this so zero we can have this tally marks okay there are six zeros and four ones eleven twos five threes likewise we can just put the tally mark and we can write the frequency that is how many times that value is occurring but uh, now that is the discrete group data set the third categorization is the continuous group data that means if you have values if you have a num if you have number of values more than 15 and the range of all those values are more than 15 so what happens here is if you just try to put them down in a discrete group data set there will be more than 15 rows in that table so usually the ideal number of rows will be from uh, 5 to 10 and then uh, 5 to 15 actually so if it is more than 15 then we cannot comprehend it that easily so what we do is we will group it such that we have uh, the number of rows between 5 to 15 so to do that we will check the range first so in this data set the smallest value is 18 and the largest value is 59 so this is uh, the age of 50 employees in an organization so now we do this calculation 
the range is 59 minus 18 that is 41 so as i said earlier ideal number of groups will be 10 that is the mid value between 5 and 15 so you divide the 41 the range by the uh, ideal number of groups 10 so you will get 4.1 so you can approximate that to the nearest integer again that will be 4 so 4 will be the size of a group so now we will write down the groups our smallest value is 18 and i will write it down as 18 less than or equal x less than 22 that means all the values from 18 including 18 up to 22 excluding 22 will be added here and the next group is 22 less than or equal x less than 26 that means all the values from 22 to 26 including 22 but excluding 26 will be added here so likewise we can have groups so now you can see the number of groups are less than 15 here and here also you can put the tally marks and we can write down the frequency of these groups so these are the three categorizations of data based on how many values of data we are taking okay so today what we looked at is how to represent how to collect data and represent it so in the future videos we will see how to analyze them how to do the statistical calculations on them